Man, I hated that I took that solo trip. <laughs> Says no one ever. <laughs> Let's talk about the benefits of solo travel and pros of traveling alone. If you're new here, my name is Kim and I'm the creator of workhardtravelwell.com. And on this channel, I talk about travel tips and lifestyle and tech tips for busy professionals. Let's get into 10 reasons to solo travel. The reason why I'm so passionate about solo travel is because it helps with ways that you can travel more. And you should check out that video. I'll post it in the description of this video on ways to travel more when you're short on time. If you're like me, you don't have a lot of PTO, paid time off. So this is one way to travel more is through solo travel. Number one is when you travel solo, it allows you to not have any regrets. And what I mean by that is you don't have to wait on anyone. If you decided to wait on someone and you really wanted to go somewhere, but you waited and waited and you weren't able to go, you might feel a little regretful about waiting for someone. So traveling solo, you just say, hey, forget it. I'm tired of waiting on people. That was my story. I know a lot of people you know, can relate to that. And I was tired of waiting on people. So I just said, you know, our schedules don't align and maybe our budgets don't align. So I started traveling solo. I talk about, you know, how to plan a solo trip in another video, but you know, that is one reason to travel solo so that you don't have regret. Two, you can basically do whatever you want. How many of you have been on a group trip or a family trip where you're kind of like having to carve out one day to, do something someone else wants to do on the trip or maybe they just don't want to do what you want to do and you know you've flown all the way to this destination and you're not able to do all that you want to do so the benefit of traveling solo and traveling alone is that you can do whatever you want i know i've been on group trips where you know the people on the trip really wanted to do a lot of shopping shopping is not my thing it's cool for like you know some of the day but to go to multiple stores and things like that that's not really me i know when i went to thailand i wanted to do like a cooking class and no one wanted to do that there were some other things i wanted to do and in the end i ventured off by myself to do some things so that worked out but you don't have to worry about that when you travel by yourself number three along the lines of that you know being able to do whatever you want is there's no set schedule granted I travel with kind of a loose schedule, but you always need to be flexible with that. You need to be flexible and go with the flow. You can have a loose itinerary, but you know, if you decide you want to take a nap or you don't feel like doing something one day, you can rearrange it and be flexible. So that's one thing I like about it. It's not set in stone for four. You learn a lot about yourself when you're traveling alone. I've learned so much as far as, you know, what exactly do I want to do on trips? Um, just about myself in general, like how I handle certain situations. I learned so much about myself during these solo trips that um, lessons that I've learned about traveling as well as lessons I've learned about myself. Number five. Solo travel is a major confidence booster for me. Like I just mentioned, I learned a lot about myself, but after I complete a trip, I, like, I feel so accomplished after I've traveled solo. I rented a car and traveled in Turks and Caicos, and like I had to basically drive on a different side of the road and trying to navigate around the island with my GPS from my phone and things like that. I just you know that was my first international solo trip and when i went to south africa zimbabwe and zambia i was there for a long time and so many things happened i took about eight different airplane rides all right y'all we made victoria falls of course we did it to Japan. and stayed in all these different hotels and um, had some hiccups on the trip, but when I got back, I was like, man, I really did that. Like, it's crazy. You know, I'm so blessed and fortunate to have made it back. And I just, each time I go on a solo trip, it boosts my confidence. Like before I went to South Africa, I was nervous as heck, but when it was all done, I'm like, okay, so when's the next trip? <laughs> 
While you're here, check out the Travel Well store, which is a travel theme store with apparel, accessories, and home items. Use code YouTube for free shipping. And it gets easier along the way. I know your first solo trip, it might be scary. If you're someone that's new to solo travel, you can stay in touch with people back home and you can start by traveling close by. You can start by easing your way into it by like going out to eat by yourself, going to the movies by yourself, whatever you can do to kind of get yourself comfortable with being by yourself. Staycations, road trip to the nearby, like a city that's an hour away. Start small and I promise you, like it will boost your confidence along the way and you'll be able to do bigger trips. My furthest trip that I just mentioned was to South Africa and that was a 16 hour play ride nonstop. And I literally hopped around while I was over there. So I definitely encourage you to travel alone at least once. And I promise you, you'll be like, okay, ready for the next. While you're here, go ahead and click the link in the description to download a free trip planning guide and solo travel discounts. You don't want to miss that, so get your free copy. Number six, another great benefit of solo travel is rest and relaxation. Like I mentioned earlier, you don't have to really have a set schedule. And when you get to the destination, like building some time for rest and relaxation. When I went to Turks and Caicos, I scheduled a massage in my room and I'm like, why haven't I done this before? And I just literally chilled on the beach, just relaxed. And it was a good like breather, good, just necessary to kind of just uh, take a break, relax, and just escape from all of the pressures and things back home and just take a moment to myself. Number seven, you're able to cover more ground when you travel by yourself. And like I mentioned earlier, when you're with a group or a family, you have to kind of, you know, cater to everyone's needs. But when you're traveling by yourself, you can cover more ground. You can build in all the things you want to see and uh, see a lot of different cities and you're not really weighed down. So I'm like usually on the go on most of my trips, unless it's an R&R &R trip, like I mentioned before. But I'm someone that sleeps when I am on the plane and at night, but during the day, I'm trying to see as much as I can, especially if it's a destination that's far away. Not only when you get to the destination, you're able to cover more ground, but just in general, because you're traveling solo, you're able to see more throughout the year instead of waiting on someone to go with you. Number eight. You meet some great people when traveling solo. I've been fortunate and blessed to meet a lot of great people when I've traveled solo. Um, some, especially like the people that have taken me on tours in these destinations, like I've kept in touch with them for years. So one thing I like to do is sometimes I'll sign up for group tours. And thankfully I've been on tours like in Colombia and everywhere I've met black families. So like one tour I was on in Victoria Falls, by the end of that trip, they were calling me like cousin Kim and stuff like that. And I literally was by myself and they were just like, they were just like amazed that I was by myself. So I met that family. Um, they made sure they were like, Hey, let us know when you get back to the hotel and stuff like that. They wanted to you know, they were just looking out, we were looking out for each other, so it was really nice. And in Victoria Falls, I actually went on a like sunset cruise by myself and I met another black woman from the US. And after that, we like hung out and went to dinner at this restaurant that I was actually wanting to go to in Victoria Falls that had just reopened, so I was excited. <laughs> so it was cool, you know, split in dinner, split in the cab and all that good stuff and kept in touch after the trip. And when I was in Colombia, I went on a beach tour, met a black woman from the US. I always meet people by either going on group tours or just like eating when I go to the restaurant, I'll eat at the bar. And that's how I'm able to meet a lot of great people on the trip. And you have to be discerning about who you're meeting. You know, you don't want to just go around and say, hey, I'm by myself. But after I can tell, you know, who I was able to trust with that information and I know they saw me by myself anyway, but like 
you know, when I was at Table Mountain, this family, like, are you by yourself? And I'm like, I don't know you like that. Like, why are you asking me? <laughs> like, it was kind of weird. So just be careful, you know, don't who you meet, but definitely you meet a lot of great people when you're traveling. So number nine, all travel equals better stories. <laughs> I know that you have great stories when you're with the family and traveling with friends, but I've had a lot of great stories that I can talk about to you all. I can talk about on my blog. I can talk about to my family in the future, you know, sharing it in the future is going to be like awesome. These are some, my solo trips have been some of my fondest trips. That's no shade against anyone I've ever traveled with, but I just have really great memories from traveling. Like I can't wait to tell my future kids about that time I traveled solo to San Francisco and biked across the Golden Gate Bridge from the city all the way to Sausalito. And it's like roughly eight miles. My phone died in the middle of it. Like I was out of shape. I hadn't ridden a bike in so long. When I got across the bridge, like I started walking and then I saw a dog, so I got back on my bike. <laughs> so like stuff like that. Number 10, solo travel pushes you out of your comfort zone. And we all wanna grow. One of the ways you can grow is pushing yourself beyond your comfort zone. And I know solo travel is scary. I consider myself a pro in solo travel and I told you one of my recent trips international trips was to South Africa and I actually booked that trip the flight and I canceled it within the 24 hour period and I'm like because I was that nervous I'm like do I really want to do this like I really would have preferred to go to South Africa with someone and I just got tired of waiting so I booked it again and this time I just let it go and even day before boarding everything I was just like <sighs> but <laughs> I pushed myself out of that comfort zone because I was wondering how am I going to do on a 16 hour flight like I just by myself just like I just didn't know and going to three different countries I was just kind of wondering ahead of time like how is this all going to work out and it worked out beautifully even though there was a hiccup and I talk about that in a different video about how I got chased around in Durban. I'm like, this guy is following me. And I turn around and he's walking past the police station and then he just vanishes. It's like, he just like ducked it. Bam, police pull up. That was the end. And they're thinking I'm crazy. They're like, you know, call Uber, do something. You know, like they could see I was like shaking up. Even though that hiccup, I, at the end of the trip, ready for the next one. So it pushes you out of your comfort zone and allows you to grow within your travel journey and that allows you to grow in your personal life. So I highly recommend solo travel. Let me know what benefits of traveling alone that you've gained from your solo trips. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with your friends and family. And also, I'd love it if you subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. I post weekly videos around travel tips, lifestyle, and tech for busy professionals.